Thursday, September 19th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $128. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. According to a new Russian law, people calling themselves agents of the Russian government have the authority to jail anyone who, quote, glorifies non-traditional relationships to minors. Yes, they argue that violence must be used against people peacefully exercising free speech to protect the children, of course. The problem is that wearing a rainbow or just about any non-disapproving mention of gay rights and relationships is characterized as grounds for jailing. That's what inspired James Kerchik this week to use his opportunity as a guest commentator on a Russian TV news panel as a soapbox to decry the violations of human rights by the Russian government. Donning a pair of rainbow suspenders, he said, quote, Well, Harvey Firestein, who's a very famous American playwright and actor, he said that being silent in the face of evil is something that we can't do. And so in, you know, being here on a Kremlin-funded propaganda network, I'm going to wear my uh, gay pride suspenders and I'm going to speak out um, against the horrific anti-gay legislation that Vladimir Putin has signed into law that was passed unanimously by the Russian Duma that criminalizes homosexual propaganda that effect effectively makes it illegal to talk about homosexuality in public. And I'm interested in talking about the horrific environment of homophobia in Russia right now and, and to let the Russian gay people know that they, have, that they have friends and allies and solidarity from people all over the world and that we're not going to be silent in the face of this horrific repression that is perpetrated by, the pay by your paymasters, by Vladimir Putin. And I don't know how as a journalist so you can go to sleep at night and seeing what happens to journalists in Russia who are routinely harassed, tortured, and some <laughs> James, cases you have killed to come by the Russian over, government. James, you how have you to can call yourself a journalist and, and how you can go to sleep at night. I find that abominable. You, you should be ashamed of yourself. See, you see, should cover we, what's happening in Russia. You should cover the, the horrific abuse. And you, know, and you have 24 and hours a day to lie about, about the United States and to ignore what's happening in Russia. You have 24 hours a day to do that. I'm going to take my two minutes and tell people the truth. Ironically, the topic the panel was supposed to be discussing was was Chelsea Manning, the woman who, after releasing the largest set of restricted documents ever leaked to the public, was sentenced to 35 years for violations of the Espionage Act. This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value, with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. WGN-TV in Chicago reports that the rock and roll McDonald's was overrun by dozens of inflatable kangaroos on Monday. 32 inflatable kangaroos were planted outside the building. The stunt was organized by an Australian community group that objects to a plan to build a McDonald's in their hometown of Tacoma, Australia, which sits next to a national park. They say putting a McDonald's there would be like building one next to Mount Rushmore. I personally wouldn't mind that, but to each his own. At least they're taking personal responsibility and using direct action, rather than begging the government to use force to shut down the McDonald's. Yesterday, they delivered 100,000 petition signatures to McDonald's headquarters in Oak Brook, asking McDonald's to put its new restaurant somewhere else. This story brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at Blockchain.info. The Guardian reports this week that a 41-foot-long polar bear was paraded through the streets of London, signed with the names of over 3 million people in protest of oil companies drilling for oil in the Arctic. A Greenpeace rep who helped organize the protest said that the use of oil is contributing to climate change, and that, in turn, is causing polar bears to lose their homes. Touching visual. But is it true? Actually, Earth gained about 19,000 Manhattans of sea ice since this date last year, the largest increase on record. There's more sea ice now than there was on this date in 2002. Peace News Now is on the next news network, and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends. And if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>